When I survey the wondrous cross on which the Prince of Glory died, my richest gain I count but loss and poor contempt on all my pride. If you're a Christian today, you've been rescued from the dominion of darkness and brought in to the kingdom of the Son loved by the Father. Just like a sailor drowning in a stormy sea lifted onto the lifeboat, we have been saved and rescued by Christ. Nothing of ourselves, only the work of Jesus. But we're not left there. Paul in our prayer today prays that we would go on to maturity. He says this, we continually ask God to fill you with the knowledge of his will through all the wisdom and understanding that the Spirit gives. Paul tells us in Colossians that God's will, his plan, his purpose, is that all things be brought together under Christ. So our prayer today is that we would understand this plan more. The Spirit gives us wisdom and understanding to get what Jesus' grace means for us. So pray that for yourself today, that you would see the mystery of his grace in your life even more. And pray that for your friends and your family and your colleagues and our church and the world. And why does Paul pray this? So that you might live a life worthy of the Lord and please him in every way. Not because we have to, but because we get to live a life that the Father will smile upon. Love so amazing, so divine, demands my soul, my life, my all.